Alter. Oh, ist er der B. What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video. It is a bright and early like 7.30 ish in the morning. Uh, as you saw from my last video, I slept from like 2 p.m. or 4 p.m. until 2 o'clock in the morning uh, and then I was up pretty much from 2 o'clock in the morning until now. So we got an early start to the day. Uh, we are currently walking to the train station to go to Kamakura Shrine as well as the Great Buddha. Uh, it's a really big Buddha. And the shrine is really cool. <laughs> There's some Inari gates. Inari? I think it's Inari gates. Um, and then it's really pretty building. So we gotta take the train. It's like a 30 minute ride. Currently we are in a super pretty rose garden. Lots of really pretty flowers everywhere. And then that's base right there. You can kind of see the ships off in the distance. Uh, so once we get a little bit closer to the shrine, I will bring you guys back. Oh, like the video. Alright, and just like that, we made it to Kamakura Station. Uh, this is the station that's outside of the shrine. Now I think we have about a mile-ish walk to the shrine. Once we get there, I'll bring you guys back. Super pretty. There's like this road with a bunch of trees. Um, it's really nice. You guys will see it in just a sec. So we made it. This is like the little walkway that goes to the shrine when it's uh, cherry blossom season. This is insanely pretty because all of these trees on the left and right are all cherry blossoms but way down at the end of this road is the actual shrine so once we walk there i will bring you guys back all right so this is just walking into kamakura shrine right now they have that really cool like bridge thing i don't 100 percent know what it is uh, but you're not allowed to walk across it but that's really cool and then behind me in the distance that's the actual shrine um so, but there's all kinds of stuff around here. Some really pretty photography spots that I'm probably gonna take some really sexy pictures of uh, my dude JJ right there. Um, all kinds of cool stuff. This is like a really pretty lily pad pond thing that we're walking into. You can see tons of lily pads. He's never been here. That's why we're here. I've been here a bunch of times uh, when I used to live here. Just a super cool spot to come take pictures and just check out the history behind Japan. Yeah, so this place, that B-roll that you guys just saw, this, I don't remember exactly what it is, um, but they get like this little wish thing, or it's like a good omen, they tie it onto those ropes, and then like it's supposed to come true or something like that. I don't 100% remember, sorry, I'm a horrible tour guide. Uh, but now we're gonna make our way over to the main big shrine. So yeah guys, this is the main shrine. Uh, absolutely huge. I'll give you guys a quick look inside, though I'm not allowed to actually film inside. Um, but I'll just go to the door and show you guys what it looks like from the door. There you go. So that's the shrine. Sorry I can't bring you guys in more, uh, but we're going to go look around real quick. No, I don't know how well you guys can see it. Yeah, not very well, but there's a super cool view right there. You can see like all of the city. Super cool. But now we have to take a, a walk and then a train and possibly a bus. I don't really remember to go to the Great Buddha. Uh, it's the second biggest Buddha in the world. So yeah, pretty cool. What do you think so far, Griff? It's dope. It's really pretty. Dope. Yeah, that place is super cool. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to uh, photograph inside and I just assume that includes video. Try to be <laughs> as respectful as possible. They were praying in there. <laughs> I know. Well, so they like flip in a coin, like a hundred yen or five hundred yen coin. So that's like a dollar or five dollars, and then say a prayer for something, like for good luck or you know prosperity, wealth, whatever. They just say a prayer. Uh, but yeah, off to the Buddha. 
we are at the Great Buddha. Well, we are almost at the Great Buddha. We just got to the area where it is. Uh, so walking in the gates right now, and you can see, oh, well, I don't know. I think you can just barely see him. Yeah, you can just barely see like the corner of him right there, but uh, let's go get a better look. And now we officially made it to the Great Buddha. Boom, look at that. I know you guys can't really tell how big it is, uh, so let's go ahead and get closer because the Buddha is huge. It is probably, say like 70 or 80 feet tall. Ooh, that thing's burning incense and it smells super good. There's also a watermelon right here. Maybe this gives some better scale. It really doesn't. Yeah, Buddha is ginormous. That was pretty cool, right? I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Not a lot to do here, aside from look at the Buddha. There was a group of monks here too, that was kind of cool. They had iPads um, though. But they did have iPads. I don't think monks have iPads. And I don't think they talk either. Aren't they? Oh, is that a bee? Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. Bruh. I don't do bees. There you go, you guys just got me freaking out on video. God, I just had a panic attack. Um, Quick story, I'm petrified of bees. I stepped on a wasp nest once and uh, got stung a whole bunch of times. Super scared of bees, I don't like them. I don't think monks are allowed to talk, aren't they? Don't, didn't they like take a vow of silence or something? I don't, I don't. Isn't that a thing? Just cause I'm like half Asian doesn't mean I know everything. <laughs> I think it does. Uh, anyways, we are going to Yokohama now to go to the very top of Landmark Tower and we are also gonna go to World of Beer to get some lunch and some beer. I will bring you guys back once we get to Yokohama. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Yeah, Little tour. I don't know. He told me to point up. No, I don't no, know. It's over there. It's where? Just like where? Your eyes. I don't. Where, what are you talking bird? about? Right there. Where? Behind the trees. Behind. There's a bird behind the tree. Oh, no, I, think. I don't. What? Oh. There's a bird way up there. That is a big bird. There's another one over there. Yeah. Bring you guys back once we get to Yokohama. We made it to Yokohama Station. We had a little bit of an issue. I was thinking because Landmark Tower, right, is right on the water. And we live in California, and I was like, yeah, we gotta go west because it's by the water, so let's go out the west exit. But I forgot that we're in Japan, so the water is on the east. So we walked all the way out, and now we gotta go the east exit that way. Um, but once we get out, we should be like pretty close to the tower. So we're gonna go all the way up to the top of the tower, probably have a drink up there, and then go to World of Beer to get some, you guessed it, beer. All right, so we may or may not have gotten off on the wrong train stop and have been walking for roughly the past hour, but there's Landmark Tower. So we are going all the way to the top. There's currently a tree in the way, but you guys get the idea. So we are going all the way to the top of that to get a drink and then all the way to the basement to get some food. We made it after <laughs> literally four and a half miles of walking, but um, I'll turn you guys around. Unfortunately, the bar is closed. It doesn't open until five, and I don't think either of us want to hang out here until five because it is ridiculously hot out today. Uh, I think Griff has taken a, uh, a what's it called, panoramic panoramic picture, but I'll flip you guys around so you can see the awesome view too. Yeah, this is my favorite view in Japan. Uh, unfortunately, super hazy today, so the view was not that great. But uh, we are about to go to the basement now and go to World of Beer and get some food. Hope you guys enjoyed our five miles of walking just for that. Wanted to show you guys. <laughs> uh, we made it to World of Beer, by the way, uh, if you couldn't tell. So for the day so far, because we did 100% get lost, I think we went to the wrong train station. We went exactly where we wanted to go. Yeah, he won't admit that we got lost. Um, Never get lost. I think we went to the wrong train station and that's why it took us so long, but so far, that's what we're sitting at. So that's uh, 16,387 steps for 8.12 miles and we're only in Yokohama right now, so we still have to walk back to the right train station, which won't be as long. Take the train back, walk from the train station back to the hotel, uh, and then crawl in a hole and die. I'm just kidding, we actually have to stay awake, which kind of sucks because I don't want to sleep all day again and then be tired all day today like I am right now. Uh, but I will show you our delicious food when we I get think back. sleeping like from like noon to maybe eight o'clock at night's a solid plan and just staying awake the rest of the time. 
just repeating that for the next two weeks. I mean, it would keep us on America time. So, I mean, that would be a benefit. Yeah, but last time I tried that, like, I got back and I was just all sorts of messed up. So. Yeah. My brain is so confused right now. I feel like it's literally like 5 o'clock in the afternoon and it is 11.32 a.m. What? We're the, we're, the, we're the only ones in the bar right now. Um, but in my brain, it's late, so it's okay to drink, which is fine. Yeah. Yeah, because in our brain, it's... It's okay to drink when we wake up. <laughs> it's true. Uh, we did wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I got a too high from 7-Eleven. <laughs> um, but yeah, once uh, my food gets here, I ordered some fancy steak. I will show you guys. Well, it might have taken an hour, but there is my delicious food. Sorry about the shadow. It's like steak. Oh, my phone just did something. Steak, leaves, some potatoes. Um, yeah, I'm going to devour this now. Yep. That was a uh, quality meal. I ate it all. All right, so I got my uh, waffle tower. Now we're gonna try to find the train station. Play by play, let's go. It's nowhere near as good as I thought it was gonna be. But it's not that great. train first so we went we needed to go from here to here so we went from here to here and then we got on the wrong train again and went from here to there and then we got on the wrong train again and went from here to here now we're back here and we're back going this way uh, so it's been at least two hours and uh, <laughs> we should Just be laughing <laughs> yeah we should be back it's always the opposite within the way. next we 30 minutes hopefully <laughs> 